<laughs> Let's break up. I don't see us having a future together. I'm gonna get promoted to division manager soon. You seriously need to do better, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Huh? <gasps> the people at the table next to us are... Congrats on your marriage! You're the one set to be our CEO down the line, huh? I'm Keiichi Sato. I do sales at Tokimeki Corp. One weekend... Ugh, is that you, Keiichi? Wait, what? Ikumi? And Imura? <laughs> Let's break up. I don't see us having a future together. I'm getting bumped to division manager soon. I'm scoring a massive promotion even though I'm still pretty young. <laughs> Isn't he just amazing? Doing well in your career has no connection to your love life. <laughs> it totally does. So, basically, Keiichi, you gotta step up, buddy. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Your sales numbers are higher than mine, but... See what I mean? That's why I had to step up and change my boyfriend from you to him right away. Wow, seriously? I'm glad I found out her true colors now and not later on. Um, thanks for that. Huh? Thank you for the wake-up call and for taking Ikumi as your girlfriend and freeing me. Thanks a ton. Whatever, man. Later. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. And that's how things ended between Ikumi and me. Cheers! Yes. Six months later, we were in a bar having a party for my engagement with my fiancé, thrown by my colleagues. You two seem really happy! Haha, <laughs> you can tell? Hey, Yui! You were the first one to tell him you liked him, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. Hey, Imura, aren't they? Huh? <gasps> the people at the table next to us are... Hold up. Is that Keiichi over there? Why is he hanging out with Yui, the CEO's daughter? What's happening? I'm a manager, but Keiichi is just a regular employee. How did he end up with Yui? Congrats on your marriage! You're the one set to be our CEO down the line, huh? <laughs> no way! I didn't know you guys were having drinks here. What a surprise! It's been a while since we last saw each other, KG. Ugh, Imura. What's the deal with you being here? Um, we're having a party for Keiichi and Yui's engagement here. So, could you give us some privacy? Wait a minute. Keiichi's getting hitched? Congrats, buddy! Oh, by the way, I used to be the top performer in Sales Division 1, and now I'm the manager of Sales Division 2. Plus, I'm dating Ikumi from Reception, who's super popular in the office. <laughs> yeah, we're not really interested in that. And you know what? KG always came in second for sales. Besides... <laughs> nah. Being in second place isn't good enough. You always gotta aim for the top spot. Yet every customer you get only buys once and doesn't become a regular. Who cares? I'm constantly attracting new customers. And my sales figures are constantly top-notch. <clears throat> Numbers speak for themselves, man. I'm the top performer and I bring the most value to the company. No question about it. No, you're missing the point. Say what? Yeah, I agree with what Yui said. That's not what it's about. Well, what do you mean? Don't you get it? Keiji is dedicated to boosting the LTV of his customers. W what's that? LTV is also known as lifetime value. What in the world is that? LTV, short for lifetime value, is a measure that indicates the total profit a customer brings in from the moment they begin buying from us until they decide to stop. The longer they remain loyal and keep coming back to us, the greater their lifetime value becomes. Basically, there are regulars. Sure. 
Getting new customers is nice and all, but if they don't keep coming back, our company won't see any profits. Keiji boosts the lifetime value by providing real value and ensuring our regular customers are satisfied, which helps to maintain sales stability. But on the other hand, acquiring new customers is costly. Even if we attract new customers, we offer many products at super low prices for first time purchasers, such as 80% off, you know? It's basically a giveaway. The more we sell, the more we're at a loss. So, if we only care about getting new customers, our company will go under. The best sales approach is to make sure you keep your loyal customers coming back, just like Keiji does. You've been getting us new customers, but it might end up costing us a lot. You know what I mean? So, he's at the top of sales and at the top of losses. Huh. Hold on. What? I'm actually leading to losses? No. No, that can't be right. I've always been working hard to boost sales. You've always been working hard, huh? Sure, you've been excellent at acquiring new customers. But for someone claiming to be the best in sales and don't know about lifetime value? I mean, seriously? I can't believe it. I was so surprised I couldn't even say anything. <sighs> no wonder you don't have regulars. Now it makes sense why you've been focused on getting more new customers. <laughs> Imura, how about seeing this as a chance to improve your sales knowledge? Don't you think so, Keiji? Oh yeah, absolutely. Ugh. <sighs> you know, even our regulars will move on at some point. Bringing in new customers is still a priority. Yeah, you have a point. Just watch me. I'm going to boost my sales even more and prove to you, Keiji, that I'm the best at bringing in new customers. And I'll back it up with my numbers. Man, I'm worried he might do something reckless. <sighs> Why can't he just be like a normal person? Thank you. Absolutely. I'll have the contract ready for you straight away, ma'am. Oh yeah, I secured a major client. <clears throat> Getting new customers is where I shine. Let me quickly put together this contract. And there we go. <laughs> Just wait till everyone realizes how much more talented I am. Hey, I heard you're close to stealing a major contract with Days Supply Inc. Imura, wait, what? How did you find that out? Days Supply Inc. is a regular client of mine, and they brought that up to me. I'm not handing over this deal to you. I didn't come to talk about that with you. I just got a little worried. You're new to handling large contracts, right? I've done it before, so I thought I'd offer some support. No way. Not believing that. You're just trying to steal my major contract with them, aren't you? No way. I would never do that. But when it comes to big deals, you need to think about the client's advance payment, when they want the goods, sending parts of the order in stages, and so on. I couldn't care less about that. I'm not sharing my details about my deal. All right, fine. It's impossible to help out if you're not willing to cooperate, but I'm just trying to lend a hand here because I have a good connection with Day Supply Inc. I don't want you to mess that up. So please make sure you seal the deal and manage it properly. Yeah, yeah, I've got this. Relax. I really hope so. Hey, check this out, Keiji. Whoa, you scared me there. Uh, it's you, Imura. Oh, I see you managed to secure the major deal with Days Inc. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> my bad, Keiji, but this is a game changer. With this, my sales will go through the roof, and you won't even come close to catching up. And there will be a huge difference between us. It's all right. No need to worry about that. Seriously. Great job on sealing the deal. And remember, 
If you need any help, just give me a shout. Uh, uh, got it. Is he jealous of me or what? <laughs> wow, I didn't expect Keiji to be the jealous type. Himura just doesn't seem to get the point, huh? Hey, Imura, we're running into some trouble with a major deal we have with Day Supply Inc. Hmm? What's the issue? The costs for the supplies are sky high because of this major deal, and it's putting a strain on the company's finances. And since the contract says we have to deliver quickly, there's just no chance we can get these products ready on time. This delivery schedule is impossible for us. Oh no, is it seriously not doable? There's no way we can do it. If it was a smaller order, then maybe, but this one is massive, so... Ah, oh, man. For real? I thought my experience with small orders would come in handy for this major deal. What now? I guess we have no way around it but to back out of the contract from our side. If we do it now, we haven't gone ahead with ordering the supplies, so... Ugh. No way I'm backing out of this major deal. But what am I supposed to do? Uh, alright, I'll have a word with the sales director. Let's hold off on this for now. <sighs> Got it. So, we've landed a huge deal with Day Supply Inc. But we're lacking the funds for the supplies. We won't be able to get the supplies on time. And the delivery deadline is too tight. And you're telling me there's no solution for this? Y yes sir You clearly didn't think about this contract at all. Did you even check with our CEO before finalizing it? I don't recall any approval steps being taken. <clears throat> Oops. I was supposed to have their go ahead on the contract before anything else. <clears throat> Either way, work together with the team to find a solution first. Then come back to me. G -g got it, sir. Oh man, I'm so lost. If I bring this up with the team, I'll have to own up to my mistakes in front of them. And I really don't want to do that. But what's the right move here? So, you're facing some troubles, huh? Keiichi? The folks at Day Supply Inc. noticed you were really tense, so they got in touch with me. Did you mess things up again? N no I did it. Well, I guess a little. Just a bit. Uh, seriously? Just a bit? If you keep this up, you'll violate the contract, damage trust with our client, and lead to financial losses for the company, Imura. Do you even realize how serious this is? It hurts more when our client's trust is lost than just the financial losses. Ugh. Uh, all right. I know all the details of the contract. Let's go together and have a chat with the folks at Days Supply Inc. Maybe we can work things out. Are you serious? We can fix this? I think we can make it work. If we suggest delivering the products gradually, renegotiating the deadline, and mentioning the advanced payment. If it's you, KG, I feel like we might just make it. And then... We headed straight to Day Supply Inc. Hello there, it's me, Keiichi from Tokimeki Corp. Oh, hi there, Keiichi. Jeez, why is she all smiles when she sees him? Wow, they trust him a lot, huh? With regards to our contract, there is something we would like to discuss. Actually, so do we. <gasps> Actually, the problem is... If you deliver all the items at once, it's too much for us to store, and we don't have enough space to store everything. Oh, perfect. We were actually planning to bring up the same topic. We were thinking of splitting up the deliveries and deliver the items gradually instead of delivering them all at once. And because of this, the delivery time will be longer than what was originally stated in the contract. Oh, that's fantastic. Having the items delivered gradually would be a big help for us. We didn't take that into account when we first signed the contract. So, let's also extend the deadlines. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much for being, being so understanding. understanding. What? And also... 
Just to clarify, we'll need to make a payment in advance when you start making the products for our deal, right? I was a bit worried because it's a major contract. Yes. We also need to ensure our products get delivered. Don't worry, my boss has already approved it. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Whoa, no way. I'll start revising the contract paperwork right away. I'll notify you as soon as it's prepared. Thank you very much. You showed up at the right moment and we really appreciate your help. Thank you. I'm looking forward to a lasting partnership with you. It's pretty rare to change the contract like that. But how did Kenji deal with the issue so effortlessly? And that's how Keiji works his magic by building trust with our clients. So, after discussing with our client, we settled on splitting the delivery, extending the deadline, and receiving the advance payment immediately. And with this, we're all good for the deadline and our financing issues are sorted, sir. Well done, Keiji. Your ability to maintain loyal customers and your potential to handle major deals and deliver impressive outcomes are truly commendable. I anticipate great things from you. Thank you, sir. But on the other hand, it seems that the root cause of this issue lies in your mistake of not handling the large order carefully and neglecting to finalize the contract deals. Imura, is that correct? <gasps> I recognize that you are skilled at closing many minor contracts, but that seems to be the extent of your skills. Exactly. Keiji always goes the extra mile to care for his customers, making sure they feel happy by being friendly and approachable. But once Imura seals the deal, he doesn't care about keeping customers coming back and turning them into regulars. He becomes distant and unfriendly after the deal is done, making it seem like he lacks passion in his sales approach. He treats our customers like they're just numbers. I don't want to work with that mindset. Yeah, me neither. Yep, same here. Even then, I feel Imura has what it takes to bring in some new deals and customers. If he picks up some different sales techniques, he could really improve. Mm. Is that right? It seems like you need to refresh your understanding of sales, Imura. And with the contract issue and the approval process problem, I'm unsure about your suitability as a sales division manager. Therefore, I'm demoting you to section chief to gain more experience in the field. Is that clear? Uh, y y yes, sir. Imura was demoted to Section Chief of Sales Division 4, but after everyone found out about the contract change incident, he felt uneasy and decided to quit his job. Now, he's having a tough time finding a new job because the whole industry knows about what happened. Ikumi broke up with Imura. She was going out with different guys after that. But when she met a phony rich guy, she got scammed and ended up in huge debt. As for Yui and I... I can tell from how you treat your customers. So warmly and with such care that you'll be a great loving dad, Keiji. Hey, do you have a soft spot for babies? I do. How about we start thinking about it soon? Yui would lean in close to me gently as she said that. Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 